Michelle Barnier faces one final opportunity later today to salvage the post-Brexit trade talks when he speaks with UK counterpart Lord Frost. The Brussels negotiator has been warned to not to bother travelling to London for fresh wrangling unless he agrees to a fundamental change of approach. Lord Frost, Boris Johnson's Brexit envoy, wants reassurances the European Union is prepared to begin intensive work on a joint legal text before resuming the process. The pair will discuss how to proceed with the trade talks during a phone call at 2pm this afternoon. British businesses have been told to ramp up Brexit preparations with the chance of the UK striking a trade pact with the EU rapidly diminishing. Michael Gove on Sunday said there is now less chance of reaching a deal with Brussels following last week's disastrous summit of European leaders. The cabinet minister blamed EU leaders for sparking a breakdown in the negotiations, but he refused to support a full walkout of the talks, insisting the EU could revive the process in the coming weeks. Mr Gove said, it is ajar, we hope the EU will change their position, we're certainly not saying that if they do change their position we can't talk to them the Prime Minister on Friday said Brussels had abandoned the idea of a free trade deal, and Lord Frost said there was no basis on which to continue negotiations, with just 74 days before Britain leaves the EU's single market and customs union. The government has launched the Time is Running Out campaign. Ahead of the end of the transition period on the 31st of December, the HMRC wrote to 200,000 traders to set out new customs and tax rules. Mr Gove, the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, said, At the end of this year we are leaving the EU single market and customs union and this means there are both new challenges and new opportunities for businesses. Make no mistake, there are changes coming in just 75 days and time is running out for businesses to act. It is on all of us to put in the work now so that we can embrace the new opportunities available to an independent trading nation with control of its own borders, territorial waters and laws. But British Chambers of Commerce Director General Adam Marshall hit out at the government. He insisted many firms were tired of posturing, cliff edges and deadlines and insisted a deal is still both possible and critical. He said, facing the triple threat of a resurgent coronavirus, tightening restrictions and a disorderly end to the transition period, it is little wonder businesses are struggling to prepare. Much may change for business at year end. But a deal would give firms more clarity so that they can plan and adjust, the Road Haulage Association's chief executive Richard Burnett said, since the UK voted to leave the EU back in 2016. The Brexit and exit process has been difficult and often frustrating. We have heard ministers say that under no circumstances will lorries be stopped at Dover. Comments that have been overshadowed by the prospect of thousands of trucks stranded in Kent. It's taken a long time but I am encouraged that Mr Gove and his team are obviously hell-bent on working more closely with businesses in the run-up to the end of the transition period on the 31st of December. I know that he keen to once and for all eradicate the blame culture and we, in turn, will make sure that with just over 8 weeks to go until the transition period ends, we do everything we can to help make it as seamless as possible.